Private Eye gets a right eyeful in our late movie, Adventures of a Private Eye. Hello at 5 to 11 tonight. Back to now with the news headlines. Here's Claire. It's nine o'clock. I'm Claire Byrne. The Foot and Mouth College under scrutiny after the RSPCA revealed it was investigating several cases of improper killing. Some viewers may find these pictures upsetting. Today, shocking images of sheep being shot in Wales were released. The council marksman fired at the flock but failed to kill some sheep outright. Our initial reaction to the footage is that it's absolutely appalling. The methods being used in the video are not methods which, which are approved as humane, so we're very, very concerned about that. Baghdad tonight claimed that British and American planes have bombed southern Iraq. There's been no confirmation of the reports from British or U.S. authorities. America is blaming a Chinese pilot for the spy plane crash. The U.S. crew have been released, but their high-tech aircraft is still in China. Tonight, America said it wants its $80 million plane back. The former Yugoslav leader Slobodan Milosevic has been ordered out of hospital and back to jail. He'd been complaining of chest pain. The ex-dictator is facing charges of corruption and abuse of power. The man wanted over Caroline Dickinson's murder is reportedly being hunted in Spain for trying to rape a schoolgirl there. A Spanish newspaper claims Francisco Montes is wanted for questioning across Europe in relation to a series of sex attacks on teenage girls. There's one shopping day left, Felicia, so Five News hunted down the most excellent eggs. Our chocolate connoisseur is tucked into the challenge and it seems Harry Potter has been working his magic in the egg industry too. I think the um, Harry Potter one was the best because it was really creamy and you could like taste all the chocolate melting in your mouth. Tomorrow's weather now, a miserable day for most of us with cloud and rain across the country. Temperatures up to 13 degrees. That's it, more news in an hour.